All of us suffer wounds throughout our lives, from minor cuts, scrapes, and bruises, to more major injuries from falls and other accidents. Most of us need no special treatment for our small wounds, and wounds typically heal in a matter of a few days with no lingering effects. However, millions of people in the U.S. and around the world suffer from impaired wound healing, especially older people and people with diabetes. In these populations, simple cuts and scrapes can lead to chronic non-healing wounds, which can get infected and lead to amputation and even death. My research is focused on the mechanisms underlying both normal and impaired wound healing and developing methods to improve healing. In the US, over 8 million people suffer from chronic wounds and direct healthcare costs for diabetic wounds run close to $80 billion per year. Over 50% of diabetic foot ulcers will become infected and up to 20% of these will result in amputations of a toe, a foot, and eventually the entire leg. The five-year death rate of people suffering a diabetic foot ulcer is about 30% and it's over 50% for those who had to under, undergo amputation. These death rates are on par with some of the most serious forms of cancer, a fact which is not widely appreciated. Like many health problems, chronic wounds have outsized impact on minority communities. Many factors contribute to racial and ethnic inequalities in the incidence and impact of chronic wounds, including lack of access to health care and lack of access to healthy food. However, the underlying causes of disparities in chronic wounds are not well understood and are severely understudied. My laboratory studies the causes of chronic wounds and develops therapies to improve healing. My research has been funded continuously over the past 20 years by NIH, the Department of Defense, the Veterans Administration, and various foundations. Trainees at all levels have contributed to this research from undergraduate students and graduate students to postdoctoral fellows and junior faculty members. All of my current lab members were trained in the Department of Kinesiology and Nutrition here at UIC. My laboratory is particularly interested in the role of inflammation in wound healing. Many of us have been conditioned to think that inflammation is bad because of its links to heart disease, cognitive decline, and cancer. However, inflammation also plays a critical positive role in wound healing, and there are many studies that show that anti-inflammatory medications can impede the healing of different tissues, including the skin. My laboratory is developing methods to target aspects of the inflammatory response that impair healing of diabetic wounds without inhibiting the aspects that promote healing. For example, we have found that repurposing the oral anti-diabetic drug gliburide into a topical wound treatment can reduce chronic inflammation and improve skin wound healing in diabetic mites. We are currently translating these findings to human studies. We hope that by developing new therapies, we can both reduce the tragic outcomes of amputation and death and improve the quality of life of individuals that are predisposed to chronic wounds.